Hello and welcome to this activity. Today, we're going to be learning how to draw a winter penguin using the drawing tools in Adobe Express. Start by opening up a new drawing project and close down the templates menu because we're going to be drawing our penguin from scratch. Click the brush icon from the menu on the left hand side to select a brush. We're going to start with a hard round brush and we're going to keep the color as black. But we need to reduce the size all the way down to 10 so we can draw a nice thin outline. We're going to start with a large oval in the center of the page to make the penguin's body. If you hold it for a moment, it will snap into a perfect shape. We're going to add above this a small circle for the penguin's head. And again, we can snap it to shape. And now we need to fill it. Select the fill tool from the left hand menu. Make sure that black is selected and then double tap in each area that you want to fill. Now we have the penguin's body, we're going to go back to the brush tool to add in some detail. We're going to start by adding in two wings, one on each side of the body. Draw a curved line so that it extends upwards and meets the penguin's body, and then another one from the bottom extending upwards so you have a completely enclosed shape. This is important because we're going to fill this in later. At the bottom of your penguin's body, draw two little rectangles for his legs so that we can attach some feet. We're going to use the fill tool again to fill in the wing area. And now we have the black part of our penguin complete. Click on the brush icon and change the color swatch to white. You're going to draw a circle inside the penguin's head to make its face. Underneath this, you're going to draw an oval inside the penguin's body that we are going to fill in to make its stomach. You can color in this area or click the fill tool and change the color to white, then double tap in each area to create a white face and stomach. Now we have the penguin's body, we need to add some feet. Select the brush tool and change the color to orange. At the bottom of your penguin, you're going to draw in two wide orange feet. You can color these in with the brush or use the fill tool to fill the area. We can also use the orange brush to add a beak. Put two fingers on the screen and pinch outwards to zoom in. In the middle of your penguin's face, draw two curved lines and join them together in a point. You can color this in using the brush tool or use the fill tool. We're going to add in some eyes. Change your brush color to black and reduce the size all the way down to six. Add in two eyes by drawing two small ovals and let them snap to shape. Inside each of these ovals, you're going to draw a black circle and color it in. If you leave a little bit of white, it makes the eyes look shiny. Finally, you're going to add two small black dots onto the beak for the air holes. And you might want to give your penguin some eyebrows or other facial features to make it have a little bit more expression. Put two fingers on the screen and pinch your fingers together so you can zoom out and see your whole penguin. You might want to leave it like this, or you could add some winter clothing. What about adding a scarf or a hat? And if you wanted to, you could add a wintry background. When you're happy with your final design, remember to give your project a title. Click in the top left corner of the screen and rename your project. I'm going to call this one Winter Penguin. Finally, remember to download your image so that it saves onto your iPad. Click the download button in the top right corner of the screen. Click download again and it will save into your camera roll. We hope you enjoyed trying this activity and that you're now happy being able to draw your very own penguin. Why not use your imagination, your creativity skills, and the drawing tools in Adobe Express to draw some unique penguins. You could experiment with different colors and brushes to create patterns on winter clothing, or draw different backgrounds and situations to place your penguin. You could even draw more than one penguin in each scene and create your own story. <laughs>